Today, we're solving the Hacker Rank Challenge, or a manipulation. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the prefix sum algorithm, the method we'll use to solve this challenge. The problem statement for this challenge reads, starting with a one indexed array of zeros, and a list of operations, for each operation, add a value to each of the array elements between two given indices, inclusive. Once all operations have been performed, return the maximum value in your array. For example, the length of your array of zeros is 10. Your list of queries is as follows. The value A is the starting index in your array. The value B is the ending index. The value K is the integer to add to each element between the starting and ending indices of the array, inclusive. So, for the first query, indices 1 through 5 are incremented by 3, for a total of 3. The next query increments the values at the indices between 4 and 8 by 7, for a total of 10, at indices 4 and 5, and a total of 7 at indices 6 through 8. And the last query increments the values at the indices between 6 and 9 by 1, for a total of 8 at indices 6 through 8, and a total of 1 at index 9. Once all operations have been performed, the largest value in the array is 10. In the next example, we're going to structure our array such that the prefix sum algorithm can be applied to it. Okay, but what is the prefix sum algorithm? And why do we need it to solve this challenge? The prefix sum algorithm is an efficient method for calculating the cumulative sum of each value in a sequence of numbers. But the challenge doesn't call for calculating the cumulative sum of each value in the array. No, it does not, which is why we're going to restructure the problem such that the prefix sum algorithm can be applied. The pseudocode for the brute force approach to solving this problem is as follows. For each query, and each element between indices A and B, the element is incremented by the value of K. And therein lies the fundamental problem with the brute force solution. In terms of time complexity, this solution will take each query big O times M. To traverse each element in the indices between A and B, it takes big O times N. The maximum amount of constant time operations that this program may execute, is big O times N times M. Hence, the reason the prefix sum algorithm is needed for a problem such as this. Given this example, where the length of the array is 5, and the number of queries is 3, let's structure the problem such that the prefix sum algorithm can be applied. For the first query, we place 100 at index 1 of the array, and minus 100 at index 2 plus 1. For the second query, we place 100 at index 2 of the array, and minus 100 at index 5 plus 1. Notice how for each operation, there is no need to traverse the array at all. We're simply making two modifications, at two specific indices in the array. For the last query, we place a 0 at index 3, and minus 100 at index 4 plus 1. Now we can apply the prefix sum algorithm on the one indexed array, which results in a maximum value of 200. The programmatic solution to this problem is actually quite simple. First, a one indexed array named, table, is defined, with the length of the incoming variable, n, plus 1, to account for the requirements of the prefix sum algorithm. Next, we initialize the table elements with zero values. Next, we traverse through each of the incoming queries and increment the value at the index position of the table array denoted by the two-dimensional queries array, at position J0-1, to account for Java 0 index array, by the value of the index position of the two-dimensional queries array at position J2. This is equivalent to the value of, K, from our previous examples. Next, we decrement the value at the index position of the table array denoted by the two-dimensional queries array, at position J1, by the value of the index position of the two-dimensional queries array, at position J2. Once we process all queries, our one-dimensional table array is now ready for the prefix some algorithm to be applied. To do so, we create two primitive longs named, sum and max, and initialize them to zero. Next, we loop through each of the elements in the array, storing the cumulative sum in the sum variable, and the running maximum value in the max variable. When the loop is complete, the value of max is returned to the caller. We hope you enjoyed this video, if so, please like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. 
be sure to click the notification bell to be notified each time we upload new content. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. And we'll see you in the next episode of Wow! How do you code that?